Hey Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about scanners. And I have all these scanners lined up. These are all the uh, Rev, Rev, let's see, Revo Point scanners. Now I do have one more scanner. I'm going to show in a different video some other time. But I wanted to show you all the Revo Point scanners that I have and what they are and which ones are which. So starting way over here, we have the very first one released. This is the Rev Point scanner. And, used to, and people call it the Rev Point 1, but it's just the Rev Point. Then we have our Rev Point 2, which is the second version out. Then we have the Mini, and the Mini is one that I really like, and I'll talk more about that. Then we have the Range right here, and then we have the Inspiration, or Inspire, I guess, Inspire. And then last, we have the Miraco, the Miraco. And uh, I'll talk about all these. Let's just start with the Rev Point 1 right here. This was the first uh, Rev Point scanner I got. And it wasn't as good as my other scanner for resolution, but it was kind of fun to use and it's got some cool features. These little legs that pop out and it has an extra piece you can add here. And basically it links to your phone. You can use your phone as your screen for the scanner. It's pretty cool. Um, it actually has a really hard time keeping tracking though. They didn't quite get it down pat. So you really want to use a tripod for this and slowly circle the item in a rotating type fashion to, in order to do this one. As a handheld, it's not really that great. It loses tracking all the time, but hence that's why it is the old one and they've actually replaced it and this one's no longer even available. But it is a cool one. Next, we have the Rev.2. Now, this one allowed for uh, um, twice the amount of area for resolution for scanning areas. So because of that, it kept better tracking because it had a bigger area it was scanning. And I actually use this one for a lot of different scans. The first floors I've scanned for Castle Gray School, I use this right here to do it. And again, it's got the same type of deal. Now, they did realize the tracking on this was difficult with your hand. And of course, you can add your cell phone here for your screen. So they made a brand new um, holder for it, which was kind of cool. That would, that would kind of rock with your scanner as you moved it and not cause such herky-jerkiness. Whoa. All right, this is that new thing I was telling you about that uh, allows for it to not be so herky-jerky. You can see it's got all kinds of cool controls on it. And the scanner I have on top of this is actually the Mini. The Mini is made for uh, really small detailed items. So like you're trying to scan a He-Man sword or a He-Man's head or something else, you'd use this right here. It's made for high resolution scans. And you can see that when you move this, it kind of wobbles much slower than your hand does in order to not lose tracking. Now this one uses a blue grid and it looks really cool. You guys have seen it in my videos probably before, that blue grid coming out when I scan things. That's the Mini doing the scanning. And the new Mini 2 is actually out available right now. This is a little bit more expensive uh, scanner. In fact, the new Mini 2 runs at 829, 829 for this new Mini 2. Um, and they don't sell the, the first mini anymore so you have to get the mini 2 higher resolution really cool i'm just going to lay this down so it doesn't fall it's so heavy with all this extra gear and then you mount your phone right here as you scan and then it links to your phone so it's it's a pretty cool fun device and it really easy to use cool cool all right let me lay it down it's probably going to beep at me because it's being held against its will next i have the range and notice how wide the eye span is on this that's so it's made to scan really large items. Oh, there it goes. It's made to scan really large items like whole entire bodies. Whoop. And I have a giant turntable for humans. So if you wanted to scan yourself and put yourself in the He-Man world, this is what you'd use as the range. They now have the range two. And the range two uh, usually retails for 729, so it's a little bit expensive, but it's made for large scans. So you're doing a whole entire body or something else. Next, we have the Inspire. The Inspire is the low-budget version, and this is uh, newer than the other ones, and it has a... Uh, I bought the extra battery pack you can plug into to charge it. You can also put your phone here as well as the screen, or you can plug it directly into your computer, like all the rest you can as well. Um, I wish I didn't buy this one. I bought it because I thought it was comparable to the... Um, better than the two, but I thought it was like basically the new three, not realizing it was the budget version, I'm just kind of kicking myself. I only used it once to scan one thing one time. And it's like, I got better scanners already here. 
so I have no reason to have the Inspire. But if you're looking for a low budget scanner that works well, this is a great one to get for low budget. It's made for medium sized objects. So if you wanna scan a whole entire He-Man figure, it's great. Just the head alone, it will do just okay on the head. Um, you don't wanna use this for upscaling. This works great for downscaling though. So if you want to take a 12 inch figure and make it six inches, this would be the way to go with something like this. Um, it's a good scanner. It's just for me, I have other scanners that are better. So it was kind of a waste to get. And I'm still kicking myself for buying this because before I got this in the mail, this one came out. Now this is the most ultimate scanner. This is the Miraco. The Miraco is so cool. Now this one does cost a uh, Twelve ninety nine, so right under thirteen hundred dollars, a little, little more spendy, and it has the wide range, and it has a screen built into the back that can actually fold up. Look at this! Whoop. So if you want to scan yourself, you can now see what you're scanning. Now this has both near and far, so it basically becomes the mini and the range in one unit with the screen built in. It's a really cool device, and if you're going to buy only one scanner and just want to spend money once, whoops, let me shrink down here, just spend money once, this would be the way to go. Now, granted, it is more expensive, but it's well worth the dough instead of buying multiple scanners for different uh, um, uses. So you can see it's starting up Rev Point. Now, Rev, or sorry, not Rev Point, Revo Point. And you can see the software loads right here. Now, the software with this is really cool software. Um, they keep updating it every time i turn around there's a new update and the updates are great every time they do an update it's like yes something cool new is coming and uh you can actually take and scan and scan and scan and then merge all those scans together to make it work when i scanned in that part for uh um oh uh eternia playset for that person i actually used that technique of of taking multiple scans and then combining it in the one with the software on the computer. So you can see here, the software is now loaded and I can do near or far or take a single snapshot. Again, if you're gonna go with this one scanner, I would suggest going with this one right here. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Now, I have to mention that I am an affiliate, just so you know, so I do get um, kickbacks for the links, but either way, I would still post the link anyway, because it's such a cool device. Let me go and power it back off. And, uh, Again, when you get there, you're going to look at all the different scanners they have. I just happened to, to print some up right here of different ones they have. And I think the Pop 3 is a pretty good one. Again, if you're scanning uh, stuff for like He-Man figures and accessories, get the Mini 2. That's, that's the coolest one. And the price, again, I know it's kind of expensive. It's $8.29. But if you're scanning all kinds of stuff from big things to small things, then I would get the, the um, Miraco. This one allows you to scan small stuff and big stuff. It's small scanning is not as good resolution as the mini by itself, but if you're going to only buy one, this is the one. If you're planning on buying more than one, then of course get the mini and then get the, um, like the Ranger Pop 3, depending on how big you're going to scan. All right, hopefully it's a little informative. I plan on making more videos about these scanners. Let me know which one you want to learn more about, and I'll actually do a video of me scanning something so you can see how it works. And again, they are the standard Rev Point, which you probably could buy used, uh, pretty inexpensive. The Rev Point 2, which again, they don't have on the, on the website anymore because now they have three. The Mini, ugh, which they now also have the Mini 2, which this is the one that does super fine, nice scanning with the, with the grid. Uh, I wish I could show you right now, but I don't have my phone on here because I'm taping on my phone. You're watching on the phone that I use usually right here. So I'll have to somehow set that up so I can show you guys with multiple phones. The range for scanning uh, large items like whole entire humans and bodies, things like that. And uh, then we have the Inspire, the budget version, which can do uh, medium-sized objects. So, oh, there we go. It's not liking me putting it down. Um, and this is probably the, the best way to go if you don't have a lot of budget to spend is the Inspire. And the last one, if you got money to burn, you want to get the most ultimate one, then you get the, I always forget the name, it's like Miraco, I think. Yeah, Miraco. I just know it as the cool scanner, you know, so. And again, this one has the built-in screen. No, you don't have to use your phone with it, and the screen changes, which is handy. Sometimes I'll be scanning something, I'll try to get kind of at a low angle, and if the camera or is 
down here, I can't see what I'm scanning. But since the screen flips up, I can still get a low angle and still see the screen of what I'm scanning. And so it's pretty cool that way. So it is kind of a fun feature they have built into this Miracle. So there you go. I will talk about my other scanner, the first scanner I ever got in a different video. Um, I just wanted to focus just on a uh, um, Revo point right now, just so you can see the different scanners they have. And again, links in the description. Check it out. Go to their site. Click the comparison button, and it will pull up whatever ones you want to compare, and it will tell you all the stats on them about how many frames it does per second, um, what the resolution is on the scans, and everything else. And if you're going to downscale, um, the resolution is not quite as important. If you're going to upscale, the resolution is highly, highly important. So if you're going to upscale Mini or Miraco, if you're going to up downscale, um, the Range 3 works great for that, or the Miraco again, or the Inspire. Any one of those works great for doing that. All right, well, that is all that I have. Um, I meant to bring a He-Man figure out here, but I'll make some more videos, and we'll do some scanning. And I have somebody sending me a part of the... Um, uh, the uh, Eternia playset, one of their parts, either broke or wasn't included, the part that holds the monorail, and so they're going to mail it to me. When they do, then we'll practice scanning that, and I'll try a different, couple different scanners so you guys can see how it looks with that, and we will have fun. And what's cool, too, is like when you get this, you get something called the magic mat, and it helps you scan in objects that has different spots all over it that are random. Anyway, you guys will see in the new future videos. Let me know if you like this stuff and you want to see how this stuff works. Or if you're like, come on, Hebro, just get back to the figures. We don't care about how you make things work. Just do it. I'm fine with that, too. Anyway, so again, my two favorite scanners for me personally, the Mini with the floating head on it, woo, and the Miraco. These are both really cool. Again, the Mini, close detail parts. You get lots of fine detail. And the Miraco large objects and it could do fine not quite as good as this but just about and it's all portable in one unit and oh yeah i forgot um it comes with this cool carrying case so you'll drop your miracle right in there just like that zip it on up you got a spot here in the front for uh, accessories so i think i have like charging cords and other things to take a look and see oh yeah got the old charging cord in there Big old monster plug. You know, I've only charged it once when I first got it, and that was it. I haven't charged it since, and it still has a lot of battery power. And then it's got these cool Magno straps. They magnetize down themselves. And you got yourself a cool little bag to carry your Merc uh, your uh, scanner in. So, yep, and here's how the boxes look like for the range. But um, here's your box for the Inspire. But on here's your box for your rev point pop two. Oh, it's funny too. I forgot. Is inside of all of these, they all come with a head to scan. So you get this head of the statue, so you can practice scanning it. And they have little turntables it comes with and stuff. And uh, every scanner I got, the head kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So the first rev point, the head was pretty big. This is the medium sized head here. When I got the mini, the head was really small because it's more accurate each time, and so they're able to put, you know, put a smaller head in so you can see the accuracy. So I started collecting these heads from all the scanners of all their all the different ones. It's kind of funny. You know what? I'm going to grab all the heads. I'll get it back. Anyway, I can't find all the heads right now. I have them in some box somewhere. But anyway, thanks for watching, and that's all I have. And uh, like they say in the 1987 movie, good journey. Bye now. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Do it!